Now, obsessive compulsive disorder is another anxiety disorder, and it can be quite disabling. Uh, a lot of times people don't come in for treatment for obsessive compulsive disorder because it tends to be embarrassing. And uh, even though it's, um, uh, these are usually rational, high-functioning people, a lot of times they have a fear that they're, they're going crazy, they're losing their mind, and uh, uh, they're reluctant to come in for treatment. The incidence of obsessive disorder is much higher than we used to think it was because a lot of these people weren't uh, presenting for therapy. Now, the two components of obsessive compulsive disorder are, of course, obsessions and compulsions. Obsessions are intrusive thoughts or urges. Uh, very often it's themes of dirtiness or themes of safety. So you have uh, constant thoughts that things are contaminated or that uh, there's some sort of danger. And the compulsions are behaviors that deal with those uh, obsessive thoughts. So uh, generally rituals and checking types of behaviors. Uh, if you have fears of contamination, you might have chronic hand washing over and over uh, a lot of times to the point where uh, the, the skin is actually worn away and affected. Uh, checking sort of things, um, turning back and checking to see the sto stove is off or the doors are locked. Uh, you know, themes about safety. And um, you know, even though we've all had thoughts like that, oh, did I remember to turn off the stove? Of course, what makes this a disorder, like with all disorders, is that it gets to the point where it interferes with the person's life. Now, obsessive compulsive disorder needs to be distinguished from compulsive personality disorder. Compulsive personality disorder, uh, you have uh, symptoms such as perfectionism, and a big distinction is that the perfectionist compulsive personality disorder um, patient, the symptoms tend to be egocentric. In other words, they would tell you, yes, I'm perfectionistic, but it makes perfect sense to me. I, I need to be. That's the kind of person I am. Whereas with obsessive compulsive disorder, it's egodystonic. Uh, the person often is very upset by their symptoms, but they feel that they need to do it, that they're compelled. They have no control over it. Uh, treatment of obsessive compulsive disorder. SSRI medications are the uh, primary medical treatment. Uh, medications that target serotonin are particularly effective. And uh, they're generally used in higher doses for OCD than they'd be used for depression. Anaphronil and Luvox are the most commonly used medications for OCD. As far as psychotherapy, exposure and response prevention. So if someone has a fear of uh, contamination, oftentimes getting their hands dirty and not letting them wash their hands over time, that reduces the compulsion. And uh, it's uncomfortable for them, of course. It's not a pleasant treatment, which, of course, is where you come in as an empathic therapist.